Hi, I'm John. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you enjoy the content you're about to see. And if you're new to the channel, please uh, give me a subscription and hit that notification bell that's uh, down below. Um, and of course, if all of you who like my content, please uh, give me a like and uh, leave me any comments. I'm here in beautiful Lake George, New York, at the, near the southern end of the lake, just before dawn. I've got my two cameras set up. My 5D Mark IV is going to set up is set up for a landscape shot, and uh, my R6 is right now shooting a time lapse. So I'm going to be going over to the 5D Mark IV and show you basically what my settings are for the, the sunrise, which should be coming up to my left, actually to my right, uh, almost any minute now. Hi. This is John, interrupting from the future to let you know that present John is an idiot. The whole time I was shooting with the GoPro during the first segment of the video, I had a feeling that I had forgotten something. And what I had forgotten was to plug my um, Rode Micro, uh, MicroGro receiver into the GoPro. So the sound that you're going to be hearing is going to be, at least for the first section of this video, is going to be not the Rode uh, microphone, but the uh, GoPro Media Mods built-in mic, which is kind of garbage. So, just to let you all know before you go on to watch the rest of the video. And if you hear kind of a droning noise in the background of this video, there's a reason for that too, which will become clear eventually. Okay, back to this regularly scheduled content. Okay, I've brightened up the screen a little bit. Well, actually, let me. I'm going to put it, go back to the actual settings so you can see basically exactly what I'm doing. Um, okay, first of all, to show what I've got, I've got my 70 to 200 lens mar um, um, mounted on there with um, a polarizing of, um, filter and a six stop ND filter. So, my settings for this shot as sunrise is rapidly approaching is at f5.63 because I'm focused on the sun on, on the trees on the island and uh, over, over there, so that I don't really need a very um, small aperture and f6.3 should be plenty sharp for the, sh for the shot I'm um, looking for. Um, I've got the, the um, with the ND's filter on there it's going to be giving me a six second exposure. I'm going to brighten up a little bit just so you can see kind of what I'm looking at. Of course it's going to change the exposure. But I'm going to go back down to the uh, six seconds before actually triggering the shutter. So. That's taking me back to six. In fact, I'm going to shoot a bracket, bracketed exposure also, because you can see there's quite a lot of quite a lot of dynamic, dynamic range between the uh, the uh, the sky, the free water, and then the trees. So I'm going to probably do some exposure blending in Photoshop. Unfortunately, there's a com trail from a plane that may have taken off of Montreal. Uh, I'm going to have to try and pho Photoshop that out of the shot later on, as you can see here. The sun hasn't quite cleared the horizon yet, but I'm going to take a shot right now just because I like the really smooth reflections and the six uh, second exposure that I'm set for right now should actually make it even that much better. So uh, let me go and trigger this shot right now. Okay, so this gives me three bracket shots of three, six, and 12 seconds. Actually six, three, and 12 seconds. That's the way the sequence is that I have set for. And so now I'm going to wait a little while longer to uh, until the sun actually starts coming up because this sky is going to go on fire once it comes up. It's going to be great. talk fast because the light is happening but something else is also happening I was trying to build the illusion that I had uh, trekked for like an hour to get here um, just to capture this beautiful scene and this beautiful scene is wonderful but the fact is that it's right outside my hotel and sewage treatment truck just arrived so it's going to be a bit noisy while I'm taking the shot but now, now as the sun is just about to rise, I'm going to check my, change my setting from the shots that we saw before. My time lapse is still going on with my R5, actually my second one. 
R5, R6. I wish I had an R5, I don't have that kind of money. Alright, so now I've swapped out my 6 stop filter for a 10 stop filter. Um, and that's gotten me an exposure of 30 seconds at F9. Um, I ISO 100, I'm going to keep it at 100 for the rest, for the rest of the shoot. Uh, it's starting to light up now and see in the distant hills are starting to, starting to um, show nicely. Um, this is really going to be wonderful. So, let me trigger this shot right now. Again, these are going to be three bracket shots, so I'm just going to wind up being 15 seconds, 30 seconds, and one minute. So I'm going to have a nice selection of images to select from, either to work individually or to uh, compose or composite somehow or another in certain Photoshop. So whatever I wind up getting from this series of shots, um, and I'm going to take some more as a sudden I make your appearance, you're going to see them right here. The sun is starting to light up the Adirondack Mountains in the background pretty nicely now. So I'm uh, zooming in a little bit more with my uh, 7200 lens as you can see over here. Uh, try and capture some detail. It's not really so much detail because I'm still getting the island but also more of the mountains. And then, again the mountains are starting to light up pretty nicely. So I think I'm going to be here probably about another half hour. You know before the, the sun gets a little bit too high. But I'm really very happy with this series of shots that I've taken so far. And I hope you guys are too. Alright, so at this point I'm going to end filming for now. I'm going to show you whatever images I get that I think are really nice. And I think that's probably going to be most of them. And at that point, I'm going to go inside, freshen up a little bit, get some breakfast. And then scatter some locations for the afternoon. Talk to you later. I'm back. Uh, a bit of a change of wardrobe because it's about 20 degrees warmer now than it was at dawn. I am now at the uh, Shuban Pilot Landing Nature Preserve. Uh, it's on the east shore of Lake George in the town of Bolton Landing. And uh, so I'm climbing up a mountain trail, which is not a great fun thing to do the day after working legs at the gym, but I guess I'm going to need to work some Stairmaster in my, into my routine. There's a scenic overlook that, that gives a good view of the lake and I might just stay there A to catch my breath and B to catch a sunset. So uh, we'll see the view when I get up there. Let's go. I haven't quite gotten to the scenic overlook yet, but if you overlook my shoulder here, you'll see a wonderful scene of a field of goldenrod, some other purplish bracken. I guess it's probably just dead leaves, uh, dead branches, but uh, the uh, light falling on it, on it from straight in front of me, it's kind of lighting it up. It's quarter to five o'clock in the afternoon, so it's the beginning of the golden hour, and you can see how the golden leaves of the, uh, I believe, our beech trees behind me are really going to fire the scene up. So I'm going to shoot maybe a vertical pano or a wide angle. I'm not quite sure. I'm using my, the, uh, the R6 that I'm recording this on. I'm going to use that for, uh, for the stills. So you're going to see that coming forward. I think uh, this is going to be a very nice uh, first image. 
In fact, what I'm probably going to do then is before heading up to the overlook of uh, over Lake George, um, I'm going to try some op some uh, ICM, some like camera move, intentional camera camera movement shoots like, shots like that, and uh, see how that works out. I might use the 5D Mark IV for that. Um, yeah, so we'll see what happens. Well, they kept telling me, you're almost there, you're almost there, you're almost there. <sighs> An hour later and about a thousand feet in elevation, I'm here. I'm at the uh, observation tower at this uh, reserve. And actually, the fact is, I've actually been shooting for about the last, fifth, tw no, half an hour. Because the lights started happening, sundown is still about an hour away. But as I pan back this way, you're going to see the view that I'm shooting at. Uh, basically, you have here Lake George. And the sun is off here to the right. And I've got just beautiful layers of light. It's just incredible what's going on right now. It's gonna be even better in about an hour. So I'm gonna hang around until sundown. I've already shot some, uh, some panoramas with my Canon 5D Mark IV, which is currently mounted on the, um, um, with the uh, 7200 um, F4 lens and also my 1.4X extender. So I've shot some vertical panels with that. And now I'm shooting some details of that gap in the valley, which you can just see right over here. There's the mountain right there. I'm not sure what the peak is here, but you got this beautiful set of uh, layers between the hills there and um, the, the, the islands there and the water and then the tree line here, which is which the foliage is now starting to light up. It's still kind of early in the fall season for up here, but it is starting to turn. I guess I timed it just right. I thought I'd been here a little bit too early, but in fact, I think I've timed it just right. So I'm not going to talk much more. I'm going to set up my R6 for uh, time lapse while I'm shooting, uh, continuing to shoot sundown shots here. And I think I'm going to, I'm going to be here for about the next at least 45 minutes until the sun is down. And then I'm going to make my way back down the trail. Uh, you'll see the shots that I've taken. I hope you've liked my content. And again, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Um, hit that uh, notification bell that's right down here. And you know, so you see my next uh, videos when they come up. And uh, thanks for joining me on this journey. Welcome to beautiful Lake George. I'm going to be here for about another day and a half. And hopefully I'll be able to get some lower elevation shots tomorrow because I am not a mountain climber. And um, I passed the field on the way up here. That looks pretty promising, and that's at water level. So I think I'm going to try and make it there tomorrow or someplace similar. All right, see you next time. Bye. see the mountain in the distance and actually as I go to my whoops, uh, trip
Uh, things I do for my public.